gamers welcome back to my channel i want to say thank you to my subscribers and i want to welcome my new subscribers in today's video we're going to be playing city skylines 2 again and as i was editing last week's video i realized there was way more tutorials that we had to learn so instead of starting a new city we're going to continue with tutorials as always i will have the playlist linked in the description box below the cards up top in the video and also now in the outro of every video, along with if you'd like to subscribe. Okay, so as I said, we're going to continue with the tutorial so we can continue to learn how to play the game because I played the demo of City Skylines, but I didn't actually like fully play the game. So I'm not completely sure of the controls myself. So let's learn together still. Okay, so down in this bottom left corner says map tiles. Purchasing new map tiles expands the area you can build on. You can select tiles with left mouse button and deselect with right mouse button. To select or deselect multiple tiles at once, hold down the button, drag, and release. You can make your city any shape you like. Tiles don't need to be connected, but it is easier to grow your city if they are. Okay. Okay. I see what they're talking about now. Guess I should have clicked on it. You can plan out your city's industrial development by expanding to areas that offer one or more of the natural resources the industry needs. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't mean for that. What did I just do? Nothing. Okay. I see. So like I could expand like right here to get like the freeway or I could expand like this for more water. Oh, like if I click on it, does it tell me? Oh, it does. Okay. So it's got oil and wood. Okay. Oh, wait. Deselect with, oh, deselect with the right. Okay. Okay. This one has wood and oil as well. Hmm. Like what about this one? This one has a little bit of ore and wood and groundwater. Oh. Experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. Why are we having si public service announcement? How delightful. Do we not have a enough power? Oh. Letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister. We'll have to check the power cuz I don't understand why they're experiencing rolling blackouts when they have power. Violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. So I learned we are going to keep the radio on because it's actually the radio for like our town. So it like gives us like information on the town, which is kind of cool. I'll talk over like him just randomly talking, but the town news, I'll try to stop talking for so that we can listen to what's going on. Like the rolling blackouts. I think it's because I haven't pushed play yet. I do still have it paused. Um, after we talk about this, when we go back to the town, we'll push play and see what happens then. Okay, so you can plan out your city. Oh, that's right. You can plan it out by that's what we were checking out. Okay To buy new map tiles, you need both money and expansion permits Expansion permits are granted whenever you reach new milestones. Oh Okay, so we haven't gotten any yet then I guess. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. Oh Well, it says three. Does that mean we have three tile permits? I don't know outside connections Outside connections are routes to neighboring cities and the rest of the outside world. They can be roads and tracks as well as water or air routes. They are often by people moving in as well as visiting tourists. Your city also imports and exports goods and materials through these connections. Oh. Road and track connections. To build a new outside connection, you need to expand your city by buying map tiles until you reach the edge of the map. Once done, build roads or tracks right up to the edge, and an outside connection point will be established. Oh, snap. So, like, like literally all the way out there? That's, like, that's what you mean? Like, out here? I have to go to, like, the water right here? Wait, what is that? Castle ruins? Oh, wait, there's like actual things? Can this be rebuilt? Relocate. Move the building to a different location. Relocate. No, it doesn't say anything. Or is it just like... Interesting. Okay. Or... Hmm. Yeah, like that's the edge of my map right here, right? Interesting. Okay. 
Water routes. Connections to the outside world over water can be created when you have a seaway that reaches the edge of the map. Oh, so like continue building like here. Like if I was, oh. You don't need to own all the tiles up to the edge if there is a pre-built seaway that has a ship type outside connection point. Buy enough tiles to connect your seaway to the pre-built one. Okay, hold on. Ooh, what did I just click on? I don't know what I just clicked on, sorry. Okay, so what is this? Is that what this is? Zooming in, sorry. No, that just like allows boats, right? Oh, it looks like that. Oh, there's my, oh, zooming out. Do I have that anywhere? Whoa, what is that? Let's see, do, I don't think I do. No, it doesn't look like I have that on this already. Okay, so then I have to build one, okay. If no pre-built seaway exists, you need to buy all the tiles to reach the map edge. So because I don't have one, then I have to go all the way out to here then? I have to buy all these tiles? Is that what they're saying? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Outside connections. Air routes. Oh. This is all outside connections. Dubber it. Air connections to the outside world can be created without buying map tiles. Okay, okay. Passenger lines and cargo routes can be created directly from an airport to an airport type outside connection point on the map edge to establish the connection. So do I have one of those on the map? So like, it doesn't look like it. No, okay, so that's the edge right there, okay. Oh, and this is the edge right here. Okay, okay, got it. And then, hold on, let me switch. Oh, okay, so the edge is right here. Okay. Okay, so I don't have any of those on this map. Okay. All right, let's push play and see what happens. Oh, it's paused. Oh, it has been playing. Oh, wait, why are we flashing? I already read that. So does that mean I have permits? Hold on, let me click on one. Oh, I have three permits. Oh. So like, what if we... And it says that we can just like draw? But it does, okay. Um. What if... No. Do we need... What if we bought like... This one. Let's buy that one. How much do we have? Okay, let's buy that one, because it's kind of connected to a road right there, so we can continue and give our, our town another in and out. This has groundwater, wood, a little bit of ore, no oil, ugh, no fertile land, but it gives us, like, road connections, so let's do it, just because. Okay. Now, what is this? Development trees allow you to access new service buildings and other buildable items for your city. You can unlock these assets by using development points. Okay, let's learn more. Okay. Basic services will be automatically unlocked when you reach new milestones. To develop and grow the service further, unlock the next item along the tree and build it in your city. Development points are awarded for reaching new milestones. Okay. So how many do we currently have? One? One point? Okay. Each city service has its own development tree. Got it. You can focus on specific types of city development by spending your points in the areas that interest you the most. Explore the development tree to find what features each service has to offer. Okay. So this is roads, so this is roundabouts, advanced road services, road maintenance facilities, traffic lights, and signs, as well as road de oh, decorations, I was going to say direction, roadside decorations, okay, power, so this is emergency battery station, gas power plant, ooh, okay, so this one, the station reduces the negative effects buildings, suffer from when there is no electricity, produces a low amount of noise pollution. Huh. Oh, solar power plant. Oh, so we want to work our way to that. Water. 
a water treatment plant. Oh, that's worth getting. And we haven't done medical or garbage yet. That's down here. We're going to learn about those next. Uh, milestones, okay. Milestones represent the growth of your city. Develop your city to reach each milestone. And that's how we get the points. These points. Oh, that's what those are. Development points. Use to unlock advanced city station. And then what were these? Expansion permit. Used to purchase new map tiles. Okay, got it. Got it. Um, yep, okay, next. Track how your city is growing and how far you have to go to reach the next milestone. Milestones unlock new features, dev points, and more. What is dev points? Oh, development points. Okay, dev points. Got it, got it. Okay, next. This tracks the amount of expansion points you have and shows how much you need to gain until you reach next milestones. You are awarded XP for building city service buildings and their upgrades, signature buildings, and roads. Increasing your population numbers and citizen happiness also grants you extra points. Okay. Whenever you reach a new milestone, you will receive a money reward. Use it to build and maintain the city. Of course, of course. For each milestone reached, you will also be granted development points, which can be used to unlock advanced services. We just learned about that. Got it. Each milestone adds to your existing expansion permit. They are needed to expand the city borders. We did learn about that, okay. Each milestone unlocks new features that allow you to build and expand your city in different ways. You can look through the list here. Okay, so we can get a loan, map piles, city budget, city statistics. Whoa. Okay, we have new development trees for those, but we haven't learned about them yet, so we're going to learn about them, and then we'll check out the development trees. All right. So I think we just finished Tiny Village, so that means we're working on Small Village. Okay, but what do we need? Like, we have to... We unlock all this, right? No? Oh, yeah, because all this says unlock. So now we have to learn about all this to get to Small Village. Got it, got it. Achievements. My first city. All right, got a lot to go. Okay. Um, so, let's zoom in a little more. Whoop, whoop, still learning, sorry. On our small city that is over here. Oh, let's build a road. Hold on. Um, I think this is what we had built, right? That was truly superb. Masterful counterpart. You're listening to Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tapes. Don't touch that dial. Herb too tight. Oh, so I can go right there then. Freight figures have just come out. That's right. If the birth okay. continues to drop, we'll be looking at downsizing the city. To the there, they're village. connected. But maybe we should make this a little bigger. To city services. That's right. Oh, it's a railroad. The region's death rate figures oh. are much lower now. Okay, then let's still leave that because that's not gonna work. That's a good thing, Linda. See more greed of greed and greed. Oh. Tell us, sir, what are your thoughts on today's news? So, is this okay? We'll have to figure that out then. All right, then. Next, we have healthcare and death care. Oy vey. Okay. Good healthcare systems help prevent diseases and ultimately deaths by treating the sick and injured. Healthcare services also keep citizens healthier and happier by giving advice and information. Okay. Sick citizens visit clinics and hospitals for treatment on their own or if they are in serious condition. An ambulance will be sent out to pick them up. Ooh, okay. Medical clinics and hospitals have a set of ambulances at their disposal and a limited amount of rooms for patients. Medical buildings can be upgraded to increase the capacity of both. Okay. Okay. So build medical facilities in central locations, close to the citizens and with ease to road access. Okay, I have a spot in mind. Got it. If patients need to travel far to get treatment, it takes them longer to get better and the likelihood of deaths increase. Each clinic and hospital can only treat and care for a limited number of people. Opening the building info panel will guide you on how well a facility is working. 
As your population increases, you will need to build more facilities. Okay, okay. Got it. Okay, so what is this? This is the medical, right? Oh, will it fit? Oh, it won't fit right there. Oh, okay. So what if we put it... Let's put it, like, right here. Okay. Death care. What is this? Mm. Each citizen will eventually pass away. Death care services exist to take care of the deceased. Cemeteries are large, park-like locations where deceased citizens are buried. Hearses pick up the deceased and transport them to the cemetery for burial. Okay. Citizens like to visit cemeteries. Cemeteries also increase the well-being of nearby citizens. Find a nice place close to housing with good traffic connection to build your cemetery. Each cemetery has a limited number of graves. So, as your city grows, you will most likely need to build more than one. Okay, so they like to be near it. Um, so like... Let's do it like right here, maybe? Yeah, let's do it right there. Okay. Oh, and I also want... I forgot. Oh! Oh, let's place it. What are these? Commercial zones. Oh no, I want to place a few of these. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll actually... Oh, here we go. I want... How many is this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. We'll do it... Like that, as well. And then we'll do this next one next to it, maybe. Okay. Okay, so we did this one, right? We're done with this? Yeah? Okay. Our cemetery availability is 100. We have, okay, good. Zero deaths. Guide. Hope so. Our healthcare is 100. Okay, so I don't want that. Oh, it puts it on the building. Okay, so garbage management. Good garbage management systems keep citizens healthier and happier. Garbage management facilities send out trucks that collect waste from around the city and bring it back for processing. Okay. Landfill is the basic garbage management facility. Collected garbage is stored in the dumping area, also known as a lot. Okay. Ooh, it gives pollution. I see. So I'm gonna have to build, like, a road out. Because I don't... Oh, mm. Hmm. Where should we put it? I think it's gonna go, like, here. Okay, but where do the roads connect? Does it connect? Hold on, let me see. Okay, it connects like that, right? Okay, so... Oops, out. I want it. And then I... Oh, that's how you turn it. Okay, I want it. Oh, oh. Trying to turn it. I think I want it, like, right here. Garbage management buildings generate pollution in their vicinity. So take care when choosing a location. Place the main building in a location that has plenty of room for the lot starting from the back of the building. Like that, right? Or does it need to be... No, I think that should be okay, I'm hoping. The circle around the building marks how far you can extend the lot from the building. Place the building and define the area for the lot. When the lot gets full, you will need to start the emptying process from the building information panel. Information panels open by selecting the building. Oh, having a good road network across the city is important to maintain a garbage management process. Okay, so I'm going to place it here. Okay, what is that? Add a node here. Go like this. Oh, my storage capacity. Oh. Let's relocate that. Okay, so let's do it. Where did it go? Okay, let's do it like... Here. Okay. Oh, a city building has no road access. I know, I'm working on... Build a road for... So yes. Relocate. Okay. I'm trying to place something. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Got it. So I can hold that much garbage. What is this? Adjust the dumping area. Oh, I, okay. I'm good on that. Um, upgrades provide things such 
as higher capacity or faster and cleaner services. Upgrades are specific to each service building. Select a service building you have built to see what upgrades are, are available. Oh, garbage truck depot, hazardous waste collection point, waste recycling unit. Oh. Um, this lessens my ground pollution. How do I get that then? Oh, I just click on it. Build, okay, select the upgrade you want from the menu. Depending on the upgrade, it is added on top of any existing building as an extension or placed on the side as a separate sub building. For the sub buildings, you can choose the location of it yourself. Most upgrades can only be applied once to any given building, but there are some you can add multiple times. Okay. Oh, got it. And then I'd like, so enables the landfill to maintain a much larger fleet of trucks. Collects hazardous waste, allowing garbage to be processed at a higher speed. Hmm. Oh, it's on the side. Okay, what is this one? Oh, this gets added onto the building. Okay, let's do that. Okay. We'll do that for now. Oh, yeah, a road. Huh. They need a road. Um. One way, let's do. No. Two lanes going one way. And one in the other works well especially for turning lanes in an intersection um hmm let's do let's try this one okay and then we have to zoom in and i want oh yeah okay Now what is it? Oh, hold on. Oh, did it connect? Oh, I need two? Oh, right there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I think I did it wrong. Hold on. What did I just do? Okay, hold on. Let's try that again. Okay, it was this one. So, like... I, th I think it goes here. Oops, why isn't it doing it? Oh. Right? Is that where it goes? No, that's not where it goes. Okay. Okay, then. Hold on, I need to move. How does it exceed city limits? Oh. Okay. I don't. How? Okay. No car access. The road does not. Okay, so what if I do. That's right, Jay. We'll be back after. The region's death rate figures are out, and we're seeing much lower numbers than usual. People in the area are like this. And healthier lives. Okay. See more greed of greed Got it. With us in studio today. Tell us, sir, what are your thoughts on today's news? Okay, that works. Our I think. Wait, maybe we will change that idle, to like a multi-lane road. Uh, replace. So that way there's not traffic, like a bunch of traffic anyways. I think. Will that be okay? We'll find out. Hopefully it won't cause problems. Okay. So we need... Oh! Demand. Different types of zones are in demand in your city at different times. As people move in and business develop, the need for new zoning changes according to their needs. The fuller the bar, the higher the demand for the zone type is. Oh, okay. Plus signs indicate an 
abundance of the described resource or lay resource type in your city, which increases demand for the zone type. Minus signs indicate a lack of the described source or labor force type in your city, which lowers demand for the zone type. Okay, so we have unoccupied buildings, uh, we need available jobs and happiness. We have unoccupied buildings also. We need a gas station, higher skill labor, local demand, and labor avail- What? Okay. You can shape the rules and regulations of your city by enacting city policies. These policies affect the entire city, including all districts and building. Okay. I've reached that at milestone four. You can activate and deactivate policies anytime. Some policies have adjustment sliders to fine tune their effect. Select a policy to see what its effects are. More policies are unlocked as you reach certain milestones. Okay, well, I don't have that yet. So we need low density residential and commercial demands. Okay, let's take a look at our city. Okay, so we need commercial. Let's see, can I do commercial right here? Like in front of these buildings? Okay, and then we'll do low density. Here? Why won't it build back here? Oh, I see. My apologies. But can I build? Hold on. No, I can't. I see. Oh, okay. Got it. Now... We need more. Like, a lot more. Okay, so can I... Go here. Can I, like, relocate these? How do I... Hmm... Condemned. Uh oh. Wait. Oh. I see, because I drew this over it. Got it. Yeah, because I want all of this to be that. And then we're going to do this in high density. Okay. Oh, wait, we unlocked something. What is this? Oh, industrial. We already had that. Um, then, oops, we will go this way. And actually, I think we're going to continue the road here. Road. That was, I think, one of these, right? Go out to here. Okay. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. Why is it? Oh, I keep pushing you. I see. Okay, now we're gonna go here. And I'm actually gonna do like all of this industrial. Hmm. Let's think about this. I think I might actually do all of this industrial too. Because... I can then make a road right here and do like commercial here maybe? Let's see... I want... Road? That's a four-way. Right? Do I want... No, we don't want a four-way. We want one of these, I think. For now, okay, now we go back to do our commercial buildings, okay. How are we doing? Commercial's going down, okay, we still need some low density. What is this? Are these low density? How do I know?
Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't say, does it? I think it's supposed to be a low density. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. But we have things building. So let's let things build up real fast. Oh, it's kind of glitchy right now. Sorry. Okay. Landscaping. Oh, that's next. Okay, we'll have to work on that. Oh, my demands are going back up. But they're building. Right? You're building. We're just building slowly. Oh, our citizens are starting to become happy. Wait, that's not what I want, right? Is that what I want? How do I see where my citizens are? Information? What's this? Oh. Okay. Um, I want... Oh, right here, huh? Here it is. Um, unreliable healthcare coverage. Uh-oh. So my healthcare needs more? This view shows a quick breakdown of the types of things your citizens like and dislike in your current city. Pay attention to the negative factors these show you what your city is currently lacking. Oh. This shows, wait. This shows what we're lacking. How? Like, how does it... Interesting. Okay, but I was looking actually at this. Um. Oh, the houses show. Okay. Oh, the roads. It's on the road. Building color, network color. Got it. Okay. So they're not so happy. These ones are happier. And our healthcare is green. Okay. Our commer- Oh, they're building though. Let them build and- Can I- Oh, speed it up maybe? Population increase, citizen happiness increased. Cool. Oh, what is this? The statistic panel shows you detailed graphs about the progress of your city. Seeing whether a selected topic is trending up or down can help you steer your city in the direction you want. For example, if you would like your city to be visited by lots of tourists and the number of visiting tourists is in decline, you could focus on building more attractions and making sure there are enough hotels for them to stay in. I don't think I have those yet, right? Transportation, parks and recreation. Yeah, I don't... I don't think I have that yet. For example, if, um... Hmm. Okay, select an aspect of, of the city you would like to see or hide by turning it on or off. The relevant graphs will be shown on the right. Some categories can be expanded to show further options. Okay. Slide the scale to view the displayed graph in different time frames. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I only have one time frame. Okay, got it. Um, is everything done being built? How are we looking? Okay, so I need more low density housing and commercial buildings. Okay, I can do that. So let's do some commercial buildings over here. Um We'll do like that. And then we'll do some more low density buildings here. All right. And we need more industries. Those go over here. Okay. So those can go, oops, here and here. All right. Oh, our demands are low. Yay. Wait, wait, milestones. We're almost there! Cool. Updates to our power grid, the city will be let's do... We urge let's try and do like this one. I know we only have one, but let's do like this one. On on oh, there it is. Okay. I do it. Why not? 
Okay. Authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage. Okay. Consider installing a low flush toilet, cut back on Oh no, our demands are going back up. Okay, we're going to need more water stations. So let's see. Okay, let's do or wherever you roam. In today's news, the region's birth rate figures have just come out. That's right. If the birth rate continues to drop, water looking at downsizing cities the next This is what I have here, right? Affect everything from business and employment to city services. That's right, Jim. We'll be back after this. We've recently Isn't it? Oh. summer calling the worst kind of luck there is. That's okay. Today we are talking about And then I need roads. That's not exactly what an increased death rate measures. Either way, if everybody is dying, that gives me the There we go. That's a wild overstatement. Are you trying to make people panic? Okay, let's You said panic. You said panic. The death rate is skyrocketing. We've got to get out of here. So, you go. I'll stay and clear up the mess. We'll be Where am I? Oh, I'm I clicked electricity, huh? I have I think I'm still good, but what about water? I didn't look at that. Our water availability looks good. How do I click out of that? Wait. Oh. Wait, do I need that? Water pipes. Oh, I don't think I need that, because it's in my road, right? Okay. Let's do... We need more buildings, right? Okay, so let's do this. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm get, ah, working on it. Um, what are these? Office and Specialized Industries. Huh. Signature buildings. Oh, okay. Medium density, mixed housing, rent housing, and high density housing. High density buildings. Oh, okay. Well, let's do a few of these. Wait, how far did it go? Okay, so let's do that maybe and then we'll do like that i don't think that's even i'm not very good at that and then <gasps> we did it we went to small village cool uh progression panel okay yeah yeah so now oh we have medium density housing yay we got education and research elementary schools high schools oh no okay but we have wait Two more develop points. Let's do... Um... Let's do one of these, I guess. And then let's check our water. Oh, oh, I need two for that. Uh-oh, okay. Oh, crematory or hospital? Oh. Okay, so I can't do that. What's this? College? Um... We just unlocked... Wait, what did we just unlock? Elementary and high school, huh? You know what, let's do, since we just unlocked those two, let's do this one as well. Why not? Okay. Yay! Now... Ooh, we're almost to a large city. What? Okay. Let's go... Out of this. Alright. Now we need medium density housing. Right, so let's. Okay. Oh, road services. Oh. I see. Uh oh. Yes, stoplights here. Right? Is that what happened? Stop light here. Road maintenance and extra resources are available through the road services. Main maintenance is aimed at keeping the road in good condition, while the resources include things like roadside decoration, sound barriers, and traffic signs. Road maintenance depot sends out vehicles to keep roads in good condition. Oh, okay, we'll place one of those. Maintenance vehicles clear roads of snow, wrecked vehicles, debris, and do road repairs as needed. Having your roads well-maintained reduce the likelihood of vehicle accidents and traffic jams. Oh, 
Oh, that's kind of big. Oh, it can go right here, though. By the hospital. Okay. Oh, I wasn't done. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, one... We did that, right? Okay. You can set up traffic lights at intersections to control the flow of traffic. This can be useful, especially in small but busy intersections where traffic on one side needs to wait for a long time. Okay. You can set up stop signs at an intersection to force traffic to stop before crossing. This can be useful for allowing traffic from one direction to have more chances of crossing the intersection. Okay. You can control the direction of traffic flow with these signs. Place the sign on the road section leading to an intersection, turning in the indicated direction is no longer allowed, and the lane marks change accordingly. Both signs can be placed on the same road, prohibiting turning in the intersection altogether. Okay. Roadside decorations can be added onto existing roads to modify their look and feel. You can add them on one or both sides of the road, and different directions can be added on top of each other. Choose the type of decoration you want and select the road selection and side of the road you'd like to place it. Decorations will replace roadside parking spaces from the selected section. Oh, I see. So like if I put trees like, oh, it gets rid of the parking though. So, huh. Although like right here, hold on. They don't, oh, they do park right there. Okay. Oh, can I put lighting? And it still gives... No? I can't put lighting? Oh, okay. Alright then. And then next. Oh, to place with left, remove with right. Okay, got it. Ooh, roundabouts. Oh. Ah, that would be cool. Hold on. Where should we put a roundabout? Um. Hmm. Where is the other road connected to? Right there. No. Hmm. All right. Now, let's take a look at our city. Head back over here. Um, oh, I wanted to extend this road, which I think was four ways, right? Oh. Oh, I'm replacing. Got you. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Is that gonna be a problem, though? Like, it's really thin right there. I don't- I don't think I should've done that. I think I should've... Oh, they can't park right there. That's what that is. Okay. Then what if I did this? Hold on. Go here and go here. Wait, it won't let me? Why won't it let me? Oh. I can't here. What about this? Oh. Yeah, let's put pedestrian crosswalks. Okay. But it doesn't need to be a stop sign, or a... Not what I want? Hold on. Yeah, that's better. Okay. It's a little glitchy, so we have so much more to learn. Whoa, Turbo! Calm down. Okay. But, let's place... Our medium density housing. On, okay, not zoom out. Okay, I want medium density housing. Let's do it here. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to to close it. I want some medium density housing. 
in, over here on the other side of the low density. Okay. And that's it for that. Oh, wait, we got different pa- wait. What else is new? I did that. Oh. We got a different style. Okay, let's do a different style right here. Okay. And then... What is this? Huge battery banks for electricity that can be used to negate the problems caused by blackouts can be upgraded with increased battery capacity and diesel generator. So it's a power... No, I don't want that. But I want to go over here. Okay, wait, hold on. Oops, what did I do? There we go. Wait, wind turbine. Okay, I want this. What is this? Advanced rotate system? This is... No, I want the solar panel. Okay. Solar panel. Okay. Solar panel. Okay. Perfect. So that'll help those charge. And it wants more industries. Is that what it says? Alright. That's going to go here then. And then we need more commercial buildings. That goes... Uh-oh. Why is it like that? Wait, why is the ground like that? Oh, I just saw... Oh, it leveled up! Nice! Okay, that's cool. Okay. You know what? We need schools, but those are going to be kind of far. So what if... How big are the schools? Education City Services provides citizens with schools, colleges, and universities. Citizen education affects their job position and the income level of their household. Citizens have different preference of their level of education, affected by their well-being and job opportunities in the city. Okay... Citizens' education is separated into five levels, ranging from uneducated to highly educated. The types of jobs available in the cities and the number of open positions affect which education services are needed. Oh. Education path is citizens schooling from the lowest level to the highest level. To fill jobs that require a low level of education, the city only needs to provide lower level schooling facilities. To provide employees for jobs with a higher education requirement, citizens need the higher education path for lower level schooling to higher education. So, like I said, like all three of these, because I bought the third one. Okay, but there's more university, technical university. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, those are kind of big. So, let's see here. I think... Okay, I think I'm going to place another road. And I want a roundabout, right? I need to zoom in. Here. Overlapping items. So I can't? I want, I think, a curved road. Wait, how does it curve? Let's go, like... Actually... Let's go here. Oh, there's the curve. I want... Yeah, I think I want it like this. I don't know why, but I think I do. And then we're gonna go... Oh, I can go under the train tracks? Okay. We're gonna go... Because I kind of want it to... Like that. Oh, I love it. Okay. Now, I want education. We want an elementary school. But can I turn it? Like, I don't want it. Yeah, I want it like... Oh, it's not going to. Okay, so let's do elementary. Because of the bend. So... Hmm. Yeah, I think let's do elementary here. Do high school here. Uh-oh, I don't have enough money for the university. That's okay. 
we'll get money back up. But we can do some housing. Let's do some low density housing right here and right here. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Why is that condemned? Uh oh, that's supposed to be this. And then, oops, I want medium. Yeah, that one I want right here. And then we'll place some right here next to the school. Okay. And then we'll do this one here. Oops. Okay. And then we'll do some commercial. I want the commercial like right here. Okay, maybe we'll do a commercial right here as well, actually. Okay. Because... Oh no, it's building on into my water, I see. Uh-oh. Well... That'll be okay, I think. Oh, the school's got, like, ocean view property that- or, like, view, though. That's kind of cool. I didn't mean to condemn that. Oh, no. Is these? Oh. Hopefully it'll be... Okay. Alright, so things are growing. Oh, I didn't mean to leave it on fast forward like that. We need more... Okay. wonder if I can put those here, then. Let's put them... Um, like, here. And here. Okay. Everything is building right now. Oh, that's cool. Oh, right here, right here. Such a nice... Oh, can we click on them and read them? Oh, we can. Citizens, city services, and companies chirp about their situation and opinions. Chirps are often about problems and, and successes in the city and reflect how your citizens are feeling. You can use this to guide your city development decisions. Oh! Nice, so people are happy so far. Selecting the chirp writer's name will open a panel with more information about them. Oh, going home, adult, educated, Larson family, comfortable, employed, simple. Oh, okay, that's cool. What is this one then? Oh, followed citizens. Oh, you, cho you can choose to follow citizens and get updates on their lives. Adding them to this panel makes it easier to check on them whenever you want. Oh. Move around the city and find someone to follow. Selecting is easier when the simulation is paused. When you select a citizen, their information panel opens. Find the follow button in the bottom of, of the citizen's information panel and select it to add the citizen to your list. You can use the list later to find them anywhere in the city, as well as see any events that have taken place in their life. Oh, okay. The event journal is a running collection of events that have taken place in the city. There are things such as accidents, fires, storms, and celebration. Oh, fires and accidents. If you find that the number of road accidents is high, check the condition of your road and build road maintenance depots as needed. When there's a high number of building fires, it can be... Yay, we reached level three. Okay, we'll go check that out in a minute. When there's a high number of building fires, it can be an indication that a fire and rescue service in your city is insufficient, which I think we just unlocked literally just now. So we'll take care of that. If you're seeing lots of citizens hurt by natural disasters, it might be beneficial to build more emergency shelters so citizens can take cover when needed. Okay. Celebration events show you how many people took part in the event. Oh, so we had two attendants. Okay. Okay. Got it. Am I still on that citizen? Oh, I am. Got it. Uh oh, not enough customers. There's a struggle due to the lack of customers. Well, what am I supposed to do? Oh, yeah, I have more tokens. That's right. Okay, so let's highways, large roads, parking areas. Oh, I wanted, what did I want? Hydroelectric power? Oh, solar is four. How many do I have? Three? No. Water treatment? I do want that, actually. Okay. Um, let's 
Small emergency shelter, fire watchtower, fire station, welfare office, and police headquarters. I'm not there yet. I haven't placed those. Um. Let's do a recycle. Oh, I only have one point. Oh. Let's do one point. Roundabouts are a handy alternative to regular intersections and allow the traffic to flow more smoothly. Does this give me more roundabouts? Let's try that, because I need different roundabouts. Okay. Livestock farming? Oh, sweet. Okay. So, so far this is our town. Getting bigger. We have a ton of demands. We've unlocked more things. Ooh, we've got 11 tiles, so we can totally expand our, our area now. All right, then. We'll leave it on a good note. Our happy face is getting happier. Unreliable healthcare coverage. We have one. Okay, we'll have to figure that out next week. I don't know what that is. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to be notified when next week's video is posted. Leave a comment below to show the video some love or how you're liking this game so far. I like it. It's it's a lot. I'm kind of not liking the way my city is looking, but it's kind of our tester city for now, so we'll roll with it. I hope you all are having a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Bye, gamers.